men have now come forward with sexual abuse allegations against a former camp counselor and school staff member. News 12's Karen Hua spoke with two of them about why they're following suit now. This is just one of several places James Collins, or Jimmy as everyone knew him as, is accused of grooming and sexually abusing minors as young as 10 years old. According to a lawsuit filed last September, Collins was a former counselor at Camp Iroquois in Mount Kisco. He was also involved with the Boys and Girls Club, and he worked across the Chappaqua Central School District. For Gregory Arendowski, Collins was his Little League coach starting at age 10. For Scott Rock, he met Collins at camp. They were the first two survivors to come forward. You know, reliving this, these, these things is, is never easy, um, but there is there's comfort on the other side. And I think, um, as Sarah alluded to in her piece, there's strength in numbers. And all Greg and I want to do is make sure that as many people come forward as possible. Their lawsuit has disturbing details of oral sex, masturbation, massages, and fondling, spanning at least two decades from the 60s to the 90s. But their lawyer, Sarah Klein, believes the abuse could still be happening today, since Collins was allegedly working as a bus driver in the district up until they filed suit in September. Now, they believe there are hundreds more victims, and they're urging anyone else with accusations to come forward. In Chappaqua, Karen Hua, News 12. Thank you, Karen. And the Boys and Girls Club in Mount Kisco tells News 12 that Collins was not employed there.